Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new here, welcome. It is a brand new year, 2023. Happy New Year's to everyone. Out with the old, in with the new. And of course, we have a new season of Drag Race. Drag Race season 15 is approaching us literally in a couple of days. And I cannot wait. And from what I'm noticing, and I have been noticing for a while, and honestly, I'm probably one of the contributors to that as well. And I just have something to say about that. Clearly from the title of this video, you guys know who I'm going to be talking about. And all on Twitter and on other social media platforms, I'm noticing that a lot of us, including me, have been just focusing just on one queen, one queen alone, which is Sasha Kobe. And rightfully so. She has the resume. She has the accomplishments. She has all of the accolades. And the performance skills, we've seen her, we know what she can do, right? So with that being said, I just want each and every one of us just to know that it's okay and let's not play favoritism this season. It is what it is. We have so many other queens on this season that we can focus on as well. And I don't want our favoritism and our biasness to get in the way of critiquing and judging these judging these contestants fairly. Um, with me saying that, I am a, I do admire Sasha's, um, Sasha as an entertainer and as a, and as a queen, right? I want you guys to really, really focus that I am rooting for Sasha. I want Sasha to win. I think she's going to win, right? But by me saying that, I am going to be judging these queens on the same playing field. If Sasha does not look good, an episode, I am going to keep it real. And I am going to say that. I am going to say. Don't say she's not beautiful, but she wasn't looking beautiful tonight. And it is what it was. And if Sasha is a chop. It's a chop, mama. Ay -ya. Bye. It's a chop. And if she deserves her tens and it's over for her and she makes me gag and waves my femme queen finger around. <laughs> it is what it is. Because what? And that's just what it is, right? And at the same time, that goes for the other contestants in general. I'm going to be real. If you guys don't know or haven't watched my channel and you guys are just now being introduced to me, those of you that do know and watch my channel, you guys know that I keep it real, I keep it funky, and I keep it all the way 100. I do not play favoritism. I never have and I never will. That's the reason why you guys keep on coming back because I keep it, I keep it funky, like for real, for real. Even judging legendary on HBO Max, my sisters, my actual sisters, the ones that actually have my phone numbers, that we have holiday parties together or that we go out to dinners together or things like that, they know Michelle, Gia, other my other sisters, and you guys know who you are on legendary. You guys know that I kept it real and you guys respected that. And it is what it is. I'm only judging these queens on what we see on the show each episode. I'm, I'm not going to be judging them because what I know of them or what their accomplishments are or what, what I know that she can do. At the end of the day, each and every one of us need to be judging these queens as the episodes go on in the final edit. It is what it is. Am I rooting for Sasha? Absolutely, like I said. Do I want Sasha to win? Absolutely. But by me saying that, if she doesn't do good and if she doesn't get the top spot or if she has to lip sync or if she does get eliminated, I'm not going to be mad at it if it's, if it's fair in my eyes. It is what it is. I'm not going to play favoritism. And by me saying all this stuff, since I am, I said I do admire Sasha and her resume and what she and who she is as an entertainer. Let's take Sasha out of this, you guys. And I want you guys to do the same thing. Take Sasha out of this. Who else can we focus on? For me, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna say Anitra. Anitra is someone I don't know, but someone that I kind of really was like, oh, she might bring something when I was watching Meet the Queens, right? So it's somebody that I can be like, oh, okay, girl, I think Miss Anitra is gonna bring it this season as well. Um, and I want you guys to do the same thing. Comment down below who you guys think is a strong competitor or that is going to take the crown. That is not Sasha Kobe. If you guys are Sasha Kobe fans, please 
Name another queen. Just think about it. Name another queen. And if you guys didn't even want Sasha Kobe to win or that you think that she's going to win, who do you guys want to acknowledge or uplift or just give some spotlight to to show that, you know, we're just not all focused on Sasha Kobe. It's okay to say that we are rooting for Sasha Kobe, but at the same time, we all have to be truthful when we're watching this season. This year should be all about telling the truth and being real. Let's be real with ourselves, right? And whether we agree with each other or whether we not, it's okay to always disagree. It's always okay to agree to disagree, right? But at the same time, we have to acknowledge it's easier said than done. We as viewers do not even or can't even comprehend what these queens go through. On each season, on each franchise, we just do not know. And bravo to the queens that are actually getting on the show to show on the show, showing their charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent, and especially their vulnerability and their stories. And please, you guys, no hate to don't send any hate to any of these queens because what's the point? It's 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 not going to be conducive to their mental health or who they are as a person or as an entertainer. And because, you know, words can really hurt. But at the same time, we just have to know that they are on a really at reality TV show. And it's OK to constructive constructively critique or share our opinions without sending hate or death threats. Right. It's OK to say, I did not like that. Oh, I hated that look. Oh, I would not have said, done, did all acted in those in that type of way right it is what it is but at the same time those are that is not hate speech that's not let's just get that in our head fandom just because we don't like what your favorite has did said showed etc that is not hate speech it's a different line where we're sending death threats and you know calling out personal business that has nothing to do with the show right so um all in all, I'm not trying to make this long, make this video a long video. We just have to know when we're looking at this episode, you guys, judge these girls fairly and on the same playing field. I do not judge on curves. I do not judge fa uh, being favored um, because I like a certain queen. I, I do not have my bias hat on. I'm going to be completely 100% with every queen on this show from what I see in the final edit. And it is what it is, right? So sending nothing but love to all of the queens on this, on this season. I hope and wish you guys nothing but the best and may the best queen win this season. Sasha Kobe, I am rooting for you. Besides Sasha, Anitra, definitely a close second for me, for sure. And all of my social medias, my website, my Patreon, my P.O. box is going to be listed down in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. A P.O. box unbo unboxing is going to be um, coming up next week. So stay tuned in for that. If you guys want to join my YouTube membership family, just click the join button right next to my name underneath this video. And you guys, please give this video a thumbs up because a thumbs up goes a very long way. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know exactly when I upload. Also, Maddie Rance is going to be joining me on my channel for episodes one and two because it's going to be a two episode premiere. That's going to be a long one. You guys know I'm going to keep it real and Maddie Rance is definitely going to keep it real. We're going to do our live recap on the next day, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time after the episode airs. So make sure you stay tuned in for that. That's January 7th at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay. So like always, you guys, life is your vision. It is whatever you make it as long as you make it freaking fabulous. Until the next one. Bye.